sorry about this. I'm reposting this because the last one I made, for some reason, didn't have the audio. So I'm sorry about that. Antarctica discovery. Science are stunned by this major discovery and it will have ramifications and effects across the whole world. Sean Martin Express UK reports, Antarctica scientists stunned after making this major discovery. Antarctica discovery. Science are stunned by this major discovery and it will have ramifications and effects across the whole world. Sean Martin Express UK reports, Antarctica scientists stunned after making this major discovery at the polar region with ramifications concerning the weather. And I, uh, scientists have discovered Antarctic glaciers were moving towards the sea 100% faster than previously thought, which means that they'll have major consequences for sea levels. Researchers found surface meltwater was seeping through the ice and beneath the glaciers of Antarctica, which was accelerating the glacier's descent into the sea. And by using imagery and data from satellites alongside regional climate modeling, scientists at the University of Sheffield found some glaciers were moving at a rate of 100% faster, up to 400 meters every year. However, the temperature is set to continue to rise in the future thanks to climate change. It's likely to speed up the glacier's descent towards the water even more, which will exacerbate the rising sea levels problems, according to research published in the Nature Communications Journal. Dr. Jeremy Ailey, Independent Research Fellow at the University of Sheffield's Department of Geography, is the author of the study, and he said, Our research shows for the first time that surface meltwater is getting beneath glaciers in the Antarctic Peninsula and is causing short bursts of sliding towards the sea and is 100% faster than normal, he said. At atmospheric temperatures, as they continue to rise, we expect to see more surface meltwater than ever, so such behavior may become more common in Antarctica. It's crucial that this factor is considered in models of future sea level rise so we can prepare for a world with fewer and smaller glaciers, which means for a world with higher sea levels. And as we know, most cities are on the sea coasts and rivers. All these levels will be increased. Pete Tuckett, who made the discovery while studying for his master's in polar and alpine change in the University of Sheffield, said, the direct link between surface melting and glacier flow rates has been well documented in other regions of the world, but this is the first time we've seen this coupling anywhere in Antarctica. Given that atmospheric temperatures and hence surface melt rates in Antarctica are predicted to increase, this discovery could have significant implications for future rates of sea level rise. Previous research shows that Antarctica is losing about 200 billion tons a year of ice, 200 billion tons. Not only does the ice cap melt, the melting lead to rising sea levels, but it will continue and contribute to more natural disasters. Andrew Shepard, professor of Earth Observations at University of Leeds, is the lead author of the earlier study published again in Journal Nature. He said around Brooklyn, you get flooding once a year or so. But if you raise sea level by 15 centimeters, then that's going to happen 20 times a year. According to Google Interactive Map, Fire Tree, a two meter rise could ruin the Netherlands with most of the country submerged. In the UK, the north of Scotland would suffer a similar fate and large swaths of east of England would become uninhabitable. Low-lying New York would also be heavily damaged amid rapidly rising sea levels. Now, okay, I used to live in New York, and we know that average, on average, it's not that much above sea level when you think of it. The, uh, for example, the area of Long Island. What is it? Anywhere, if you go to Google Earth, it's anywhere between 
if you're 50 feet above sea level, you're lucky. I mean, you know, we have flood surge areas, areas that are expected to flood whenever you have a hurricane or something. Uh, for example, Bayside. Bayside, Long Island, it's a beautiful area, uh, but uh, it's not very elevated. And most areas of the eastern sea coast are like that. Okay, so uh, this is a situation in areas all along the coast, all along Europe as well. And we know we even had, uh, I once read a, a, a prophecy by um, St. Patrick of Ireland. And he said that uh, he predicted that Ireland would sink. Whatever that means, that's a huge earth change. You know, we're talking about geology there now, but this article is concerning climate change. Um, but, you know, you have people living very low uh, in London, areas that I've been to London many times. There are areas that are quite low, uh, but especially New York. Okay, when you talk about the East Coast, the United States, New Jersey, Carolina, the Carolinas, forget it. I mean, I was there on a rain, in a rainstorm at Hilton Head, North Carolina. Forget it. The roads were under the water. We had the ocean coming in and uh, slapping the, the, the roads as we were getting, trying to get from one place to the other. It was just amazing. That wasn't even a hurricane. That was just a regular rainstorm. All right, so I'll leave links below for you for this on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.